Hello everyone and welcome back to Cowabunga Corner. In this episode, I am reviewing the awesome Ninja Turtle LARP toys. Now these are taken directly from the Nickelodeon series, which has me excited because I really enjoyed that episode. It has the turtles actually doing role play and then they learn about LARP, which is live action role play. They sell toys for this kind of stuff. They do this kind of stuff all the time that people enjoy it. And now we get to see the turtles enjoying it. Showing, yay, yeah, they're teenagers. And there's a lot of us out there. And I don't care what our ages are supposed to be. I have all four of them here with me. Starting with Michelangelo here. Mikey is the elf. He had his ring of awesomeness. And I'm hoping that's somehow included in this. Like, maybe even sculpted onto the toy. But I haven't got to really look at any of these yet. I've been holding off till I'm on camera. So I don't know what it has. If it's that detailed or if it's something where we're just happy we have it. From what I've seen, I really like it. And yeah, this is another one of the Playmates Ninja Turtle toys. Pop him open. Back of the box time. Mutated from ooze and raised in the ways of ninjas to by their rat sensei splinter. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are ready to venture outside their sewer lair to fight evil everywhere. Mikey the Elf. Live action role play. Mikey joins his brothers in creating his very own LARP costume. Putting together a cap, tablecloth, cape, and pointed ears. He grabs a bow, an arrow, and becomes the great elven thief. But to his surprise, he's stuck into a maze by an evil wizard. Now with real dangers in his midst, Mikey worked with his brothers to finish a maze and free the Princess April. Weapons, Elf Bow, Team Ninja Turtles. Based on the TMNT episode. They even admit here that it is based on the TMNT episode. The episode that this is based off of is called Mazes and Mutants. It has the very special guest, Pewee Herman, as the voice of the evil wizard. If you have not seen this episode yet, I will not spoil it. But I'll say it is a fun episode, and it's in season two. I highly recommend checking it out. You can find it on iTunes or Amazon Prime or any of those other websites that help get episodes. Hopefully DVDs will be available soon, if not already. Mikey is released with only one twist tie. He's got his cardboard, and there's the book, the Book of Turtle Toys, which is ever growing into this huge maze of checklist items. I'm going to have to go through and check. These are what I need for the holidays to other people. And say, ooh, help me out with that. In the meantime, I'm just enjoying seeing all of these. Want to be able to play around and get them into reviews. Yes. Let's play with Mikey. Mikey's got joints in his shoulder, his elbow, and wrist. His head should rotate. It's kind of stuck. There we go. Loosened up his head joints. Full leg movements. Nothing in the ankles. And he's actually already holding his bow in his packaging. That is different. He has this awesome hat and ears to put on. He has arrows in his little thing on the back. Otherwise, the bow is just display. Which makes him the elven warrior thief. I like it because it's actually very characteristic. I don't see his awesome ring that he carried around through the entire episode. I think if there's any detail I would have loved to have seen put into this, it would have been that ring. Other than that, really well done and a lot of fun. Let's break into the others. This here is Donatello. Donnie was a wizard in the show. I think that is actually very fitting for Donnie. Even though out of the turtles he wouldn't actually believe in magic. I do see Don as the one that would want to play the wizard. That was very fitting. He has his booklet too. We just looked at a book so we don't need to do more than one in an episode. He has his cardboard and we have him inside here. He has a staff, his headpiece, and also one evil twist tie. Removing Donnie from the packaging and removing his bow staff, which is held in by the plastic. Donnie's got a purple robe coat on, which is uh, what he did in the show. And there is his wizard face, which is actually a mop. And his bow staff is his staff. This is probably one of the thinnest bow staff toys I've, uh, I've seen. Very, very thin and very flexible. Not used to that for Donnie's staff. But it can work. It's just his LARP costume. 
Donnie the Wizard live action role play with a pointed bed sheet hat, robe decorated with stars, neck medallion, and a glowing ornament on his bow staff. Donnie is the magnificent wizard ready to cast spells in the turtles' imaginary game. But Donnie is shocked to find out all the turtles have been transported by an evil wizard to complete his maze. After discovering the princess that needs rescue in his April, Donnie is motivated more than ever to defeat the mazes and rescue her. Weapon, wizard staff, team, ninja turtles. One thing you'll notice with the box, mainly right here, is that the stars and everything are actually in white, but the toy, they're there, they're sculpted in, they're not colored. And the robe is very hard for being a robe, while the hat is this awesome rubber. It would have been nice if the cape for the robe matched the feel of the material for the hat. I think that would have actually made for a very nice touch for the action figure. He does not have elbow joints. Donnie has arm movements and wrist joints. He has the knees and legs, but uh, he's probably one of the stiffest Donnie toys you'll find. Height-wise, he is taller than Mikey, so they are keeping with the size scale, which is pretty cool. Two turtles of roleplay epicness is done. Let's bring over Raphael. Raph? was the dwarf, Raph the Barbarian. Mike actually picks on him saying he should get on his knees or something at one point in the episode because he's supposed to be a dwarf. First, he was not completely into this. And really, the funniest thing in the episode, at least for me, happens to Raph. Yeah. Raph's big mouth gets him into trouble on this show. And uh, I like that. I do like that. We got another book. Okay, back of Raph's box. Raph the Barbarian, live action role play. Carrying a big axe and wearing a horned helmet and fur tuxin, which is nothing more than a spaghetti strainer and a shaggy rug. Raph transforms himself into Raph the Dwarf Barbarian. After getting sucked into an evil wizard maze, Raph finds himself fighting by his brother's side to finish the quest and free April. Weapons, Big Barbarian X, Team Ninja Turtles. Finding a habit that each of these have the evil twist ties. Freeing Raph from his plastic. He has stuff around his feet, which I am amused by. His shoulders, elbows, wrist. Of course, no ankle, and of course we got head movement, his helmet on him, and his battle axe. Now we have one more to go. Here's Leonardo. Leo is, in my opinion, not really one of the characters from the game, supposedly. He was the game master, the one who set it all up. And it was his brothers that were playing by Leo's rules. But he still dressed up for it and went out there in all spirit of LARPing. I've never actually done a LARP like this. I got friends who are into it. So I do know some stuff about it, but not as much as some of the people I hang out with. Green Leo from his twist tie before I even take him out of that plastic right there. Right there. Book! Cardboard! Leonardo comes with the most amount of things. He's got the helmet, just like the others do. He's got his sword, and he's got his shield. Which, for my personal opinion... Uh, things that I have opened and reviewed here on Call. This is the first trash can lid shield that we have gotten from Playmates Toys with the Nickelodeon line. When in the original toy line, I used to see it a lot, especially with the old turtle cycle. So it's kind of exciting. It's much smaller than the old ones were, but it's still kind of cool and reminiscent of the past. And I've always liked that, those little nods towards things we used to see. Leo's got the knees, joints, elbows, wrists, shoulders, and of course we got the head. And that is four completely dressed up turtles. Leo the Knight, live action role play. Leo creates the perfect costume and becomes the furious Leo the Knight with his fierce medieval sword, garbage can lid shield, metal breastplate, and a pizza sauce can helmet. He is ready to take on this LARP adventure. Little did he know his little game would send the turtles on a challenge mission to save April. Weapons, medieval sword, shield, team, ninja turtles. I really love that they came up with a toy line based on the, an episode. And I kind of hope to see them play around with it more. And that we see our wizard again in future episodes because he was a fun, unique character that can definitely be used. 
I like these. With the holidays coming up very soon, if you're looking for a gift to get to a person who is a huge turtle fan that loves the Nickelodeon series, a set of these would be fantastic. Or even picking their favorite turtle. Or uh, if you're a fan yourself, I do recommend them. Uh, you might want to make your own Ring of Awesome to go with it. And hopefully we'll see a Toy of the Wizard to complete the set. Otherwise you can have them running around with Leatherhead, April, and... Wait, we never did get ourselves a monkey toy, did we? Oh, that is so sad. Well, not much we can do about that. Uh... But yeah, you can uh, recreate the episode with these toys or send them on your own LARP adventure for the Ninja Turtles. Having Leo be his uh, awesome game master saying, this is where we're going, guys. And uh, it seems like something they would enjoy. So I, I like it. I like the episodes and I like the toys. They're very fun. My favorite of the group does go to the Mikey. He's short, kind of cute. And I like his ears and hat. It's very easy to take on and uh, take off. And you also have, just like the bow and the arrows are right there, but it's got color to it, and it's very simple. And I like it. It reminds me of the episode a lot. They all remind me of the episode, but I do like that. And I also do like that they did the, the right sizes for the turtle still, even though most of the character toys do not have the right sizes. We have a lot more reviews coming up for you guys throughout the next few months of turtle toys that are on the market. Things you can find in stores right now and get excited about, be pumped about, and just enjoy. So I we hope to see you here on Cowabunga Corner as we reveal more and more openings of awesomeness. Catch you next time. Cowabunga!